Hello everyone. Remember how I played um the Chuck E. Cheese racing game? Yeah, that was an app. And this sort of looks like more of the same thing. Today I am playing the Goldfish Crackers uh carding game. And the reason why I'm playing this is because one thing, it was recommended to me in the Google Play Store. And another thing is that, as I said, I did play the uh, the Chuck E. Cheese game. And like I said, this looks similar. <laughs> Another reason why I'm playing it is because the Mario Kart Tour recently came out, and, well, it's safe to say I like that game. Also, I was much surprised this game actually has a level editor, or track builder, as it says. So let's just get into this. Community tracks, I might have to check that out. So at least from the presentation of the menu, this, I was going to say it looks better than uh, the Chuck E. Cheese game. I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know. Um... Excuse me. So then turn your wheelchair wipe out. Okay, yeah, but So this has two laps similar to uh, Mario Kart Tour. The thing about this though is that instead of turning it, you base it turns itself, and you're over here. Ooh, almost wiped out. So yeah, you're over here controlling this. I'm losing at the moment. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. Which is actually funny that I'm losing, or that I lost, because I'm undefeated on Mario Kart Tour. So maybe this goldfish game meant for kids is harder than Mario Kart Tour. I don't know. Alright, sorry about that, my dog muted water. So anyway, as I was saying, this game's actually harder than Mario Kart Tour. And, yes, I know that Mario Kart Tour is technically a kid's game as well, but the thing about these app games, right, is that they are usually fairly hard to control. Uh, that's why, in my opinion, they should be fairly easy. The CPU should. Now, online's a different story. If, you know, if the game has hard as hell online, that's just, you know, the players. Although I can't imagine anyone, like, really playing this game. It's kind of old. I've seen the commercials for it. Uh, a lot of these... Are on, like, the... 
their website, the Goldfish Crackers website. But the, but the thing is, I'm just going to go to the next game. But the thing is, I guess they're also apps. I don't know. I guess I should go ahead and get all these. I have no clue what they do. Alright, we're going to go over the bed too, apparently. Or under the bed too. Yeah, I guess you do technically go go, go under the bed. So you know this is kind of odd. Because it tells me to sort of slow down uh, during the turns. But then somehow he gets faster than me. And he doesn't seem to slow down, and he doesn't wipe out at all. I mean, yeah, I know I'm missing that boost every time, but... Okay, I actually won this one. May have gotten better, or this is just easier. Or maybe it was because of these. It probably was because of those. Oh, you have to hold this down. It doesn't just... Well, I guess that makes sense. Got it. Is there a way to... Restart, yes. That is actually, you know, pretty shitty of this game that you have to... Okay, so I know you guys can't see it, but my finger is way above where it should have been. It's hard it now. <clears throat> Which is weird. You know... I'm like these. <laughs> no, but there was like a five or six games, Goldfish Cracker games, so I think I'll probably play them. Also, I had no clue that they were made by the same company as, uh, I think it was Campbell's. I ate a lot of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. I ate a lot of chicken noodle soup. I love it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I just think that these... It's a little bit hard to control. Like, I'm glad that... Personally, I think that uh, Mario Kart Tour is kind of hard to control. I think app games in general... Are just really hard to control. I think it's because you use your finger rather than use a controller. And I think that's either I'm not used to it or the way around with all my coins. I don't know, there's probably somebody out there that's really used to this and probably prefers, you know, just using their finger. Maybe it's because I'm used to, like I said, 
but that, you know, doesn't really make sense to me because it didn't take me very long to sort of get the hang of the, you know, the Joy-Cons. Plus, it's hard to do, a, um, make like one of these games, especially a racing game, because it's either, you know, you do something like this, you do what Mario Kart Tour did, or you use that stupid, uh, stick, which is, like, the worst thing ever. It is probably my least favorite way of playing a game. Anyway, you can break in this game. For what it's worth, though, the graphics of this game aren't actually all that bad for an app. I think it looks better than the... than the, um... Like, I know it's made by a company, but, you know, companies release trash as well. Anyhow... Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. I think it looks better than the Chuck E. Cheese one. Maybe not as good as the Amino cart, though. I can't actually remember what that looks like. It looks better than Super Kids Racing, or whatever that game was called. And that was on the PlayStation. I know it was technically an app first, in fact I found it in the app store, but it was still on PlayStation. And the thing about the PlayStation app port is really dumb. <laughs> like I can, uh, like I said, I can understand them on uh, Nintendo, like, uh, not Nintendo, but the Switch. Gosh, calling Switch Nintendo, I sound like a, I sound like a big boomer. No, but... on the Switch, uh, because it is like a mobile console. You, know, you can take it on the go, just like a phone. Or these, you know, these apps are meant to be played. On the, you know, on the go. Which, by the way, a lot of these these apps are like either meant for kids or they're meant for like basically using the bathroom or just you know time killers uh, it's not even anything all that like special Anyhow, it is a bit odd how there's only one other racer. I should probably check on that track builder after this. I'm sort of curious about how that works. You know, I haven't really seen any uh, track builders in a lot of racing games. Maybe they should make a Mario Kart Maker. Wouldn't be, actually wouldn't be a too bad of an idea in Nintendo, uh, for Nintendo to do. Mario Maker, that was an amazing game. That and Splatoon was pretty much the only reason to buy a Switch. I'm sure there was like a Zelda game that came out on Switch, I don't remember it. Uh, Breath of the Wild, but that's on that's on, um, the Switch, that's a Switch game, 
is a support. But not only that, but uh, now that Splatoon and Mario make Splatoon 2 and Mario Maker 2 are out, there's pretty much no reason to buy it by the Switch. Now you know how they say, uh, you know, if you don't play something for a while, it's a figure of speech to say that it's, you know just collecting dust, right? Well, the thing is, the thing is, I was looking at my uh, gamepad the other day, and it literally was collecting, collecting dust. Like, that thing is, like, actually a dust magnet. I was... I was surprised. I can't flip that. Once again. Alright. No, wait. I don't want these. Oops. Okay. Oh yes, I'm I'm making this track based off of my It's like I can't make the track any longer. make the track any longer I guess I'm gonna have to make it shorter Uh, yes, I'm. I'm basing. I'm basing this track off of my. Uh, you know. My favorite thing. You guys will see once it's done. Maybe. Now I need to curve. Voila, here's my <laughs> here's my masterpiece. My goodness. I swear I have the <laughs> 
I swear I have the comedy level of about middle schooler. Oh my goodness. We'll see if I can even win my own track. You know, you could make it. Make a, uh. Like a. S circle like I did here. At the, uh. The tip, I suppose. <laughs> no, but you could make it and you could recreate, um. Baby Park. From Mario Kart. Which is like one of my favorite, uh. Which is one of my favorite Mario Kart tracks. Oh, I have enough money, probably for any. Nope, not for any of these. Can you get coins? Hmm? I guess there's no, uh, way to buy coins. I would figure this would be, you know, that would be the thing that you need your parents' credit card information for. But I guess not. I guess this game is just completely, 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 um, free to play. Anyway, this one's a little bit harder because of the, the obstacles. Oh. Okay. You know, at least it doesn't hurt uh, you too bad. So I wonder if that time, I wonder if that time slowed him down. I know it slowed down my time, but uh, yeah, he's far behind me, I suppose. I wish you had a map. That's another thing about Mario Kart Tour. You don't have a map in that game. So I can't, you know, doubt this game too much. Anyhow, this came out before uh, Mario Kart Tour. I mean, it's obviously cashing in there in the Mario Kart series, but... Or maybe the Hot Wheels series? I think there's a Hot Wheels app. You guys remember Hot Wheels? Oh, I'm actually mad. I went to the store the other day. Um, and I saw that there was a Hot Wheels Mario playset, or Mario Kart. No, I think it was just Mario. But anyhow, yeah, there was a Hot Wheels Mario playset, and that is, you know, I'm a little bit upset about that, because that is something I would have loved as a kid. I did have a Mario, um cart like toy as a kid it was like a mario uh in his double dash car which was weird because you know there was no luigi but yeah it was mario driving his double dash car but anyhow yeah, he was driving his double dash car. Or in the toy. And then I had another Mario toy. That, actually, I had two that were just Mario, but I wanted a Luigi. So I remember just pretending that one of them was Luigi. But, uh... I had another Mario toy. I actually had a lot of Mario toys. I made a video about it. As a kid, it was... I think it was 12. It was kind of cringy, but... <laughs> it was like a Mario Kart Total Drama something. 
Yeah, because I really liked Total Drama Island at the time. Uh, but anyhow, this third toy was based off of... I didn't have these toys whenever I made the video, but this third toy was ba Mario toy was based off of the Mario Kart, uh, sorry, the Mario Party 7, like, candy where they turn into a ball. By the way, a lot of people, no, 8, my bad. A lot of people give those 6 and 7, or, I mean, 7 and 8, you know, Mario Party I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of people give them crap, <clears throat> but you know what? I actually think they're pretty good. I enjoy them. And you know what? I think another thing is you're supposed to play uh, Mario Kart with, like, friends and family and stuff. I mean, Mario Party with friends and family and stuff. And I don't know if other people do. But the thing is, I actually like those games. But... The... The first Mario Kart ever, I mean, the first Mario Party, by the way, that was timed really well with the bubbles. The first uh, Mario Party that I ever played, by the way, why did I go into that, was eight, I mean, seven, on the GameCube, so maybe I'm a little bit biased. And then, of course, you know, 8 was the only one that I had for the Wii. I had 9, but I didn't like that game. I think the cars were stupid. But anyhow, you know, if you didn't like uh, 7 or 8 or anything like that, I do still recommend Mario Party. Uh, Super Mario Party. That game is like the revival of the series, I believe. So yeah, I actually believe that that game is the revival of the series. No clue why I ended up talking about Mario Party whenever this is a racing game. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do me. Yeah, I think that's going to do me in. Let's check out. We have Under the Bed, Carnival, which also looks like it's Under the Bed. Midnight. Which is Under the Bed, but in the dark. Metropolis. Yeah, that might be something different. It's actually kind of cool looking. Outer space. Which is, you know, they use their imagination. They don't actually get in the outer space. Uh, yeah, but anyhow, there are a couple of other uh, goldfish games that I'll probably will check out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good one.